This land is our land, period. If we don't do anything, you could wake up in 20 years and they could have a foothold. Agriculture Commissioner-elect Wilton Simpson says this land in Lithia could very well be on the wish list of foreign governments like China. They spent over $6 billion on U.S. real estate in 2022, with 24% of it in Florida. They could buy ag land and erase the need to buy food from our farmers, or even use it to inflate our own food costs. They could buy, you know, prime farmland and just shut it down. One of his first pitches to lawmakers as ag commissioner will be to greatly restrict foreign purchases of ag land. And if you don't have the ability to grow your own food, you would not have the ability sometimes to control your own fate. The problem is that once land is purchased by a foreign government, it's almost impossible to tell what they're doing with it. Sometimes it's even difficult to tell who made the purchase. And with Florida now at the forefront of national Republican politics, it would be easy for spies from a foreign country to set up a base to gather intelligence on political candidates. What do we know about what is happening with the Chinese and land they've purchased in Florida? We, we really don't know, and that's part of the problem. They do have to register with the federal government when there's certain lands bought and types of land, and but there's not a good control of that. In 2019, the U.S. Department of Agriculture said Chinese entities own 192,000 acres of farmland, worth $2 billion. Some of that is in North Dakota near a U.S. Air Force drone base. We have military installations around this state and around Hillsborough County that we would not want foreign nationals to own, hostile foreign nationals to own around our military bases. Farmers are on the front lines, but for how long? In Lithia, Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. Some interesting stuff there. Coming up tonight at 6, we're going to tell you more about the commissioner's other priorities as he prepares to take office.